20 years as a judge of Israel coincided with the 40 years oppression of the Philistines, the people of God. He takes the last 20 years, the closing part of the shift, when the Philistines are oppressing God's people Israel. It's mentioned in chapter 13 and verse 1, the second part of that verse. The Israelites are in the thrall and the domination of the Philistines in his day. And there he is trying to lead the people of God when they're being dominated by these people from uh, the Philistines. So he probably ruled in terms of the backstory, which you'll find in chapter 12, verse 8, through into chapter 13, verse 1. He probably ruled from the Battle of Aphek. Do you remember that Israel was defeated, the Ark of the Covenant was captured in 1 Samuel 4? Remember that? Who's done Sunday school? Who had Sunday school? It's quite a good story to colour in. You know the one? The Ark of the Covenant is captured and is taken away. Between that time and the Battle of Mizpah, when Samuel crushed the Philistines, ended their oppression in, in 1 Samuel 7. Samson then grows up during the time when Eli was the high priest of Shiloh, and that was basically all the leadership Israel had until Samson came along. During the time of the judges, it was, it was the, the priesthood that was organised. There wasn't a state going on. There wasn't organised government to help people to live decently in an orderly way. Um, there was just the uh, sort of structure and order of government. There was just the, 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 the shrine of a child and the priests and telling people what to do and touching disputes and stuff for them. Now while the people were faithful, that was fine. They went up to Shiloh and they got what they needed. But in Samson's time, things have gone bad. And not even that is there. Israel is not so much a failed state as a state that just hasn't been established. There's nothing there. And the lives of the people are conditioned and are coloured by that. The spiritual consequences of that are pretty clearly established in the mind of the author of Judges. Because time and again he says something like this. Judges 17, 6. In those days Israel had no king. Everyone did as they saw fit. Judges 19, 1. Those days Israel had no king. Judges 21, 25. In those... Uh, 17, 18, 19, and 21. 21, 25, in those days Israel had no king. Everyone did as they saw fit. Now get that. Because that's the big chime that runs through the whole thing. We've got this situation in the book of Judges where Israel had no structure and order government to give them a framework and a structure in which to live as the people of God. The thinking was a mess, the ordering of life was a mess. And everyone, therefore, did what was right in their own eyes. Does that ring any bells for you? Does that chime at all with what we've got today, where maybe not civil government, but certainly the structured patterns of thought have been decayed, have been taken away. Philosophically, we're going to count for that in terms of you know, secular philosophy and so on. That's what's happened. The structures, the order have been taken away. Are you surprised that everyone does what's right in his own eyes? Those are the days that Samson was called out for. So when we deal with young people, when we deal with anybody under the age of probably 30, the patterns of thought that are basic and fundamental to Christian faith aren't there. Because those foundations have been destroyed. And of course we are working in days when everybody does what's right in their own eyes. And decides for themselves what they think is going to be right and what's going to be wrong. And the consequences of all of that. Now, if you're over a certain age in this congregation this morning, you'll see that. But if you're not, you haven't seen the other thing? And it doesn't sound... What I'm saying doesn't ring. Let's just look at Samson and see what's happening, and see if it starts to ring any bells then.